We'll be talking about a show that has actually happened in Malaysia before. Now, Songs for a New World is a musical that happened back in June last year and it was directed by Christopher Ling and it featured Kaipi Fruta. Now they're back again this time, except there's a little tiny difference. Kaipi Fruta unfortunately will be missing its fourth member, Tracy Wong, but it will be substituted by the wonderful Stephanie Van Driesen. And also, not only is there not going to be a four-piece band, but this time, there will be a keyboard and a laptop. Now, if that's not something to get your mind interested in this musical, why don't you check it out and find out what it's going to be like when it has to play bang this weekend. Time has numbered my days And I'll go along with everything you say But I'll write The musical I've always wanted to do I've, I've always loved the music and um, the songs And Kapi Furta as well I've been wanting to with Kapi Furta as well as Chris Ling So it was kind of all like perfect mm -hmm. I just wanted to do it um, It has been very good actually um, not as stressful as I thought it would be um, and everyone is kind of just working together really well and I mean I've known them longer for quite a while anyway so we all get along really well and we have a lot of fun <laughs> uh, it's really really nice to work with Stephanie like because uh, we, we've been friends with her for a very long time um, but we've never actually been able to work there professionally before um, I, I loved it Cabaret that was pretty fantastic that was the first time I actually saw her perform live and I was like <laughs> god damn so the funny thing is we actually found out about Songs for a New World through her yes because, because uh, the, the, the yeah, a bunch of us XY Class members got together and did a recital and their opening yeah, song exactly. and closing songs were from this musical yes and she's the one that she introduced this musical to us and it's such a, what a wonderful concert that she's back again performing it with us this time and I basically just focused on what I needed to do you know in the time that I had really, which was get technically everything down you know um, the music because we had to sing in the we had to sing in harmony so that was the most important thing at least the group the group numbers I had to you know really blend with them otherwise there can't be some weird note somewhere um, so that was so it was a very technical process I just had to hit certain points that I knew that no matter what it had to happen so it was just mainly that and trying to fill in character at the same time trying to put some sort of skeleton together for character and what's different about the band oh wow. Amazing band, a much better band. You know, just you know, if any of the other bands who are watching this, please just just know that we have replaced you. It's the most compact orchestra we've ever had. <laughs> now, it's, they have such a full sound, but they all fit in a like letter in an envelope of size. You know, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I think also for us that are doing like the second time round. Um, I mean, we've had basically almost a year worth of life experiences. <laughs> That's happened since then. So um, the way we relate to this musical, I think, has in a way settled and deepened, and also in some ways also has developed and changed. So um, for some of us, some of the performances have, I would say, matured. I would say, evolved a yeah. bit. Yeah, no, yeah I know. I totally. No, because like, yeah. really, really you know, you know, actually, she performed this like five years before us. Yeah, no, ten years. Yeah, ten years. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you know, she's way ahead of us. This time around, I think um, the chemistry, I mean for those who have watched it before, the chemistry is totally like, I wouldn't, it's, it's changed, it it's developed, too. yes, there's more, there's more fondling on we, stage. We've had to uh, yes. suppress our desires. Yes. <laughs> I think audiences can expect a night that speaks to them because uh, uh, it would be quite bold of me to say, but I think at least one song would stick to uh, uh, audiences, at least one song would speak to everyone. Because um, this musical is so brilliant because all the different songs cover so much about life experiences, about that moment when um, on the, you're on the brink of a change and you have to decide what, where to go. Whether to fight, whether to stay, whether to uh, run away. And there's also different age groups, you know? Like, mm. like at least the songs that I sing tend to refer to younger, younger women and younger 
taste like something I've experienced and, and uh, maybe more, more angry. I don't know. And that, of course, is Songs for a New World. Now, Penang Nights, if you're interested in checking out this show, look across your screen at the moment. All the information is there, all the dates, the times, and also the prices as well. And also, if people in KL are interested in traveling up to Penang to see this one more time, because it's going to be a little bit different this time around, you should definitely try and check it out. But, again, that's enough from me. And don't forget, if you want to check out any plays, look across the screen. These are the websites that you should definitely check out for any plays or even auditions if you're interested. And also, don't forget if you would like to email us, our email is across the screen, thebackstagelife at gmail.com. So, for another episode, my name has been Nick Dorian, and this has been the Backstage